Hello. Hello. My name's Gordon from Drayson Design. And I'm Taylor from The Creative Thinker. And welcome to This Week with Taylor and Gordon, a weekly podcast and vidcast where we talk about things that have affected our businesses over the last seven days. And today's episode is a very special episode. It is indeed. Today is our 100th episode. I can't even say it. I'm so excited. Um, Yeah, so we have done 100 episodes. Uh, last week I said this was going to be 99, but what I didn't realise is that last week's was 99. Um, we didn't really have a one last week. Um, it was more of a, um, a tribute to the Queen, um, but I forgot to count that that was actually an episode. So here we are, episode 100. And to be honest, I didn't think we were going to get to 100. Neither did I. That's, um, that's quite, quite a big jump for us. Um, so uh, for those who've watched any of them, Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, yeah, should we get into our our news for the day first of all? Yeah. Okay, so something that happened uh, two weeks ago now that we haven't had a chance to talk about is the Apple announcement. Now, for those of you who are in the Apple ecosphere, you will know exactly what uh, was announced, but um, for you, Taylor, what was the most exciting thing for you? Um, I really like the, the the new watches, the especially the the Ultra Watch. Um, I just thought it looked really cool, it, it, kind of like a rugged G-Shock style watch, but in a nice sleek Apple design. Um, and obviously, there's lots of new features that came with it that were, you know, geared towards uh, extreme sports and things like that, for for diving and uh, hiking and my, uh, you know, doing lots of extreme sports, essentially. Yeah, so this is their Apple Watch, but it's sort of in a in a very tough case, and it's it's basically been beefed up, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, and uh, it's interesting that there's a big enough um, niche, if you like, for that product to exist because it's not cheap. I mean, it's it's like twice the price of a normal Apple Watch, um, so it's rather expensive, I think. Yeah. But probably not for what it is. Um, but it does require a certain type of person to actually need or want it. Yeah, definitely. I think I think you've got to be, um, you know, doing something that either requires it or you, it's one of your hobbies that you kind of take quite seriously. And, mm. and um, you know, you, you're going to get use out of it. So, you know, in, in the grand scheme, it's in the scheme of things, it's not that expensive. Yeah, I guess so. If it's going to be tracking lots of things and it's going to be... Um, you know, a communication device as well, then, then yeah, I guess that is the you case. Know, the same way that a lot of people have their own different things they spend a lot of money on because it's their hobby. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it may seem expensive for one person, but for someone that uses it every single day, yeah, it's it's know. not something I think I would find a use for, put it that way. No, I mean... Um, you, you the normal watch is, is fine. I mean, that's great. I mean, I, I use my Apple Watch all the time, as do, as do you. Yeah. Um... So, what else was announced? We had the iPhone 14, and for me, the iPhone 14 Pro is the one that I uh, got excited about. Um, I quite like the Pro ones, um, mainly because of the the higher resolution screen. It's not necessarily a higher resolution, but the, the, um, the refresh rate is higher, but also it's got ProMotion, uh, which gives you a smoother experience. Um, plus the new camera system. So it's got a brand new camera system on the back of the camera with 48 megapixel. Um, and, uh, you know, one of the things I use my phone a lot for is for taking photos. And so the better the quality of the photo, uh, the, the more photos I'm likely to take. And we were looking it up on Flickr, weren't we? One of the most popular cameras to upload to Flickr, if you don't know what Flickr is, it's a a photo storage website and one of the most popular cameras to upload is an iPhone. Um, there, there are so many people with iPhones now of you know all the different uh, versions of iPhone that uh, it's become one of the most popular cameras ever uh, you know beating DSLRs and, and compacts and everything else uh, because it's what people have to hand mm-hmm. and so whenever they want to take a photo or they want to take some video you know they can on their phone and it's great um, so I'm quite excited about that and my plan is actually to purchase one of the iPhone 14s probably in the dark purple color 
um, but I might go for the Space Grey if that's not available. Uh, currently, nothing's available because I didn't actually make my decision early enough. I decided after they'd gone on, on sale and uh, by the time I got there, there was a, a month's lead time in the delivery. So I'm just keeping watching on the website at the moment and just refreshing that until it gets to um, a, a point where there's one in stock near me. And then I'll order it and go and pick it up. Um, and that will happen at some point, but at the moment it seems like it's very popular because it doesn't doesn't um, come up, ava ava the availability of it is very, very low uh, for people just to walk in. Um, but the the iPhone is a big, big upgrade this this um, this year because it always has also has an always on display, yeah, which is very interesting. It it's got um, the, the basically it just dims the screen the whole time, a bit like oh pardon me, a bit like the watches do now. Um, mm. My one doesn't because mine's not new enough, but um, the watches are always on as well. Um, the other big thing that's happened is that we now have iOS 16 and yeah. you've had it for a while because you've had the beta right yeah I, I had it for for a while um when they were kind of testing it and it was um yeah it was good good fun to try it out um it don't, it makes the upgrade to the kind of the stable version less exciting i guess because i've been on it for for the past month or two um so yeah i mean you know i upgraded and I was like what's new it's like everything that I already knew about, I'd already been using for a couple of months. So, so because you've now had uh, like a month's experience with it, for those who've only just got it, what is the three big standout features for you? Um, I would say the, the new lock screen, so you can have um, lock screens that are changed based on your um, focus state, so your do not disturb, your work, things like that. Yep. Um, you can obviously add widgets now to the lock screen. Mm -hmm. um, and the I think the battery icon, uh, the battery percentage, they've now added that to the. They brought it back, in fact, because they used to have it. Yeah, so they, but they've changed because they changed the battery state or the the design. They removed the percentage, and so they've now added it into the new design because everyone wanted it. Uh, and that's just going back to what we were talking about before. Uh, that's one of the things I really like on the new iPhone 14 Pro as well is the dynamic island. Um, it's it's basically the notch, but they've made it into an island. So you've got a screen around it. It looks like a pill-shaped um, black bit, um, but it's become interactive. And I think it's going to become more interactive uh, as more software starts to use it. But it's sort of when you get a phone call, the, the little pill will just open out and it looks a lot more part of the the operating system rather than just something that's been tacked on because it has to be there. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so uh, let's get into our topics today. Um, shall I go first today? Okay. So something else that I realised I hadn't talked to you about was when I went over to America, to Chicago and to Texas to see my friend Mark, um, I was going over there and I visited an exhibition that he was exhibiting at and I got a chance to see the products that uh, he makes and I also then went back to his factory and I saw how they make them all there and they're really good and he made me some custom ones which was really nice of him uh, and I thought I'd show you so those of you on the podcast you're going to have to go and look us up on YouTube and Facebook so you can see the products uh, but props to you just to give you an overview is a company that makes props for photo booths and photo mirrors, uh, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of DJs are getting into doing it now because it means that they can just take one extra person, uh, they can set up the photo booth at a gig that they're already doing the, uh, the DJing at. Uh, one extra person, they can then uh, have photos being taken all night uh, with a photo booth or photo mirror, which is more popular now. Uh, and they can just add, you know, a chunk of money onto their bill because because they're they're supplying another service. But the the props are really difficult to to get good ones, uh, and this is what Mark found when he started doing it. Um, there are lots of people who have hats and you know scarves and masks and things, um, but you know the the props that he does are the printed props um, made out of foam board. Uh, for example, here is one that he made for me. 
Um, so this is using my colours uh, for Gordon's Magic, my yellow and my blue on this side. Uh, and you know, you, you, you hold it up like this when you're doing a, a photo at a, at a prop. Uh, and they're double sided, so this one's got the, the red and the blue, which is the other colours. And you hold it up this way. Um, and it's, it's really nice and thick um, uh, foam board, uh, so it doesn't bend at all. You know, it's, it's very solid. Um, and it's just uh, easy to wipe clean because uh, sometimes if you're working at parties you're going to get you know some damage or you're going to get some dirt or drinks or food or whatever all over it so you can just wipe it clean. Um, so I've got a few that he's made me and I thought you'd like to see. So there was the happy birthday one. Uh, this is one he was throwing out. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tie which is quite nice and the reason he's throwing it out is because there should be a different design on the back but it got printed incorrectly um, so it's the same on the back. In fact, it's supposed to look like this one. You see, this is supposed to be on the back, and then on the back of this one is supposed to be the other one. So I can actually do my um, uh, Back to the Future uh, number two in the future, because um, they have two, two uh, ties on. Uh, Marty McFly has two ties on. Uh, I also have this one here, which again was misprinted. Uh, it's great to be eight. So for those birthday parties that I go to that are eight years old, I can give them this to hold on to. Um, and then there are a couple of custom ones that they made for me. So there's this one here, which is my logo, uh, Gordon's Magic. Um, and they put the, the same on the other side, which is quite nice. Um, pointing the same direction, which is great. Except it, 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 without knowing it, they made a magic trick. Because if I, if I turn this to this way, the one on the back actually changes to a completely different angle. So um, it's a little bit of a magic trick as well. We can, we can go back to this way and then they're going to be the same again, uh, which is cool. Look, Taylor's going, huh? What? <laughs> And the last one is um, this one here. So this is a jigsaw piece. And it's a jigsaw piece because that's my logo. Um, and one of, the, one of the things I have on it is a, is a big smiley face uh, with Gordon's magic on and there's a different color on the back. Taylor prefers the blue rather than the red, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll probably use the blue side more. Um, but again, really nice quality. Um, very hard wearing uh, props. So if that is something that uh, would be of interest to you for your business or you just want, you know, some props, they have a huge selection and uh, we'll put the the link to the website where you can order them uh, in the note in the show notes and yeah, below. I think, I think one of the, the biggest things is that the all of the graphics are custom made. Um, so a lot of people found that. The designs are all the same online. You know, you, you, you kind of, people get them from basically the same place. And they're normally from China, mm -hmm. um, mass produced. And so people just kind of sh uh, ship them on and sell them with a, with, you know, with a, with a bit of cost added on. Whereas all of these are made in Texas, designed in Texas, printed in Texas and shipped from Texas. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you get a lot more variety. Um, and uniqueness. Yeah, exactly. Mm. A lot, there are a lot of um, different occasions that they've done, um, and they're always adding to their collection. Yeah, like weddings and Christmas and Sweet Sixteen, which is a big thing over there. Mitzvahs. Um, they've done a couple of different states as well. They've got a Texas um, uh -huh. collection, and so yeah, you get a lot more uh, unique designs and kind of different categories, I guess. Um, plus, they also do custom ones. You can get not only your own custom design graphics, um, and you can either supply the designs or, you know, say, ask for them to design it for you. But they also do kind of like printed names, uh, which are very good for like weddings and stuff. You can have Mr. and Mrs. You know, surname, for example. And that, obviously, that would be good for um, adding on. If you if you do any sort of weddings, really, you can, um, as long as you have enough lead time and to get them shipped out. Um, you know, it's it's a very easy and simple way to add a, have a little add-on for the wedding that's, that you do um, to make it a bit more unique. Now they are based in the US, so um, the shipping uh, will be nice and easy if you're in the US. Um, I believe they ship overseas. They may not. I don't know. Have a look at the website and um, you know get in contact with them if you are interested in anything that they do. But uh, thank you to Mark for for all these lovely. Um, uh, bits that he did for me. Uh, I'm I'm a very happy customer. So uh, yeah, go go and have a look and see what they do. So your topic today is um, refresh day, or probably a better word is reset. 
resetting. Um, so I find that a lot of a lot of us that run our own businesses, we kind of neglect our own businesses. Um, especially as a web designer, we um, normally have the worst website out of most of our uh, clients and websites we built just because we don't update them and because we're so busy updating other and building client sites, we don't have time to spend on our own. And I think that also goes with your processes, uh, your accounting, and all of the things that you do for your business to make it better, to help you so you can run your business smoother. So, you know, putting in automations that can not only save you from making mistakes, but also saving you time and you know that that process is gonna run in the background for you no matter what and you've got them all set up. Now, these are things that normally take one, two days maybe. Um, you know, you sit down and you think, okay, what what do I what can I automate? What do I need to look at? How can I make things better? And what do I need to sort out? Because there's always lots of little tasks that need doing for your business that you just think you just don't get around to because they're so little. And so, I think having one of these one or two of these days, um, maybe every month, every couple of months, is is good because it makes you reflect. It go, is this the direction my business? I want to take my business in. How can I make it better? Um, and how can I uh, reduce error essentially and, and make it so that I've got processes in place, automations in place to make my business better and to make your life a lot easier. If you can automate something that may take a couple of hours to, to, to implement, but you know normally, normally takes a couple of minutes, it's gonna save you no time up front, but it will save you more time in the future that you can then spend family, you know, with your doing more business doing having hobbies or getting more business whether that be doing sales or doing the actual grunt of your work which may be like client work for example for us and so um, yeah I think it's something that's very important that sometimes gets overlooked and yeah something that I'm kind of needing to look at and just make sure that I've got all of my um, things in place and all my processes and you know rethink because I've changed slightly the way that I run my business and um, having a, I've added a couple of different processes recently that um, have made my life so much better and, and helped um, with things going forward that I kind of need to do that for the whole whole of part of my business and not just one one area so. yeah so uh, have you already done a reset day or is this something that you've got coming up um, it's something that I've got coming up but I um, I spoke about it a couple of weeks ago with the emails and the project management tool and making sure that I either move them into the action folder, the waiting folder or the read folder yep. and making sure I get to inbox zero every single day um, and it's helped me keep track and um, of keeping my emails down. I've, you know, I, I normally have maybe a max of 10 to 12 um, action emails that just is something I need to go through. Um, but I, I pretty much always have a z uh, inbox zero at the end of the day, um, which is good to look forward to because then I can wake up and I know everything in there is pretty much new from either the the, re the earlier in the day or from from the last night, um, and then also the um, dealing with it and putting them into my task manager um, has really helped and, and has gotten me out of my inbox, which was was the biggest thing that I was struggling with, um, and so yeah, I think I need to do that for the rest of my business and figure out where can I automate, where can I just set up processes. Um, even if it's just a shortcut on my my keyboard that I set up, um, it, it, it helps a lot because it's something that you do repetitively or something that you know that is gonna have the same outcome um, regardless of, of when you do it or where you do it. So That's very good. Maybe we can come back to this in the future and you can tell us um, sort of a few areas that you discovered that you could you could uh, do better in your business and it might be of interest to other people who are running yeah. their own business definitely okay anything else you'd like to say no that's everything really just to just to, you know take a step back and look at your business and kind of reevaluate I guess because you know like like you say sometimes you get so caught up in the day-to-day -day work that you don't realize you know that you've missed invoices you've haven't got back to someone or you just haven't you know spent enough time on your business itself so yeah very good can i just say this is going to be the episode that i'm going to remember taylor with these these lines just here because of the light yeah uh, you've got new glasses haven't you 
Yeah. And I think that's the problem because we've not had that that happen before. It might be the microphone from the light. Oh, that's possible as well. Yeah. Okay. We'll look at that for next time to make sure it doesn't it doesn't yeah, happen. You can see the, the microphone. Well, I think the microphone is actually blocking the light. If the light, microphone wasn't there, you'd still have it. We shall sort it for next time anyway. But I, I I've just spent the whole episode looking at these <laughs> these lines. It's, he's not going, uh, you know, to to play some some awesome sports and he's he's painted his face. It's no. just light. That's all. Light in the glasses. So. so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed it, then please like, share and subscribe. We're on YouTube and on Facebook every week. You can also go to our website this week with .co.uk to find any past episodes that we may have spoken about. So until next week at 1pm on Friday, we'll see you then. Uh, my name is Gordon and I'm from Drayson Design. And I'm Taylor from The Creative Tinker. Goodbye. Bye.